Hi, welcome to this tutorial on showing you that A cos theta plus B sine theta, where A and B are constants, is identical to R cos theta minus alpha, where R is the constant, which is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared, and alpha is a constant which is equal to the inverse tan of B over A. So, how do we go about proving this? Well, we start with the right hand side of the identity up here, r cos of theta minus alpha, and I'm going to show you that this is identical, first of all, to a cos theta plus b sine theta. So, this is identical to r being multiplied by the expansion of cos of theta minus alpha. Now, don't fall into the trap that this is cosine theta minus cosine alpha. This is not a number, but a function. So, it's got its own identity, one that you should already know. The cosine of an angle minus another angle, A and B in this example, not the A and B, by the way, that I've used up here, but this is an identity which you'll see in most books of tables or in a textbook on trigonometry. Cosine of A minus B is identical to cosine A times cosine B plus sine A times sine B. And if we use that here, where A corresponds to theta and B is the alpha, then this will be the cosine of theta times the cosine of alpha. Switch the sine to a plus, and then you've got sine of theta sine alpha. All right. Okay, so we'll remove this identity now and carry on. So if I expand this bracket out, we've got r cos theta cos alpha plus r sine theta sine alpha. Now, what I'm going to do is to rearrange this. I'm going to write this as r cos alpha cos theta for the first term there, and do the same here for this term. Rearrange it to be r sine alpha sine theta. Now, why did I rearrange it? Well, basically, we know that r and alpha are constants. So that means that this term is a constant, and this part of this term here is a constant. So, I can write this as being identical to a constant, let's call it A, times cos theta, plus, okay, another constant, let's call it B, for R sine alpha, times the sine theta there. So, can you see that I have got this expression up here? So, I've been able to prove now the first part of this identity. What I need to do now is just show you that r is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared and alpha is the inverse tan of b over a. And to do that, what I do is I compare the two parts. You can see that a compares to r cos alpha and b compares to r sine alpha. So let's just write that over here. We can say that where, um, I'll start with this one r sine alpha equals b and we've also got r cos alpha is the a. And if I number these two equations, 1 and 2, I can solve them simultaneously. I can do equation 1 divided by equation 2. And what that's going to give me is r sine alpha over r cos alpha equals b divided by a. But if I had this over this, then the r's would cancel and leave me with sine alpha over cos alpha, which you should know is tan alpha. And so tan alpha would be equal to b divided by a. And if I inverse tan both sides, I get that alpha equals the inverse tan then of b over a. Now, how am I going to get R? Well, it's usual to do 1 squared 
plus equation 2 squared. And what will that give us? Well, if I square the first equation, I get r squared sine squared alpha equals b squared. And if I square the other equation, number 2, I get r squared cos squared alpha equals a squared. So adding them together gives me r squared sine squared alpha plus r squared cos squared alpha equals b squared plus a squared. Now if I factorize the left hand side, we've got r squared out as a common factor and we've got sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha. And that would be equal to b squared plus a squared or Better still, writing it in alphabetical order because it looks better, a squared plus b squared. Now you should know the identity sine squared alpha plus cos squared alpha. Well, sine squared of any angle plus cos squared of any angle is always 1. So we can think of this as r squared times 1. In other words, r squared. r squared equals a squared plus b squared. And so to get r, I just need to square root both sides. So r is equal to the square root then of a squared plus b squared. So I've been able to prove to you that r is a squared plus b squared, all square rooted. And alpha was the inverse tan of b over a. So, what I'd encourage you to do is always remember this identity. Try and learn it, okay? It's a standard result and you won't have to plough through all of this in order to get these results. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope you're able to follow my methods.